Well, hello, darling dear, it's Miss Tia. I hope everybody's doing well on this President's Day evening. I've been watching a couple things on these YouTube streets. I saw Cam and Allie, they was back on their channel tonight. That's the first time we've seen them in a long time. Seems like they got a whole lot of stuff be going on in their lives. I hope they get everything straightened out. That's, that's really sad. But y'all, y'all know the thing I've been really focusing on the most is, y'all see where that little girl in Texas, that little, that little girl she went missing, her name was Audrey. I think it was Audrey Cunningham, but, but like she was like uh, 11 years old or something. And like she went missing, I don't know, like, I think it was, it was like the day after Valentine's Day or Friday, some, something like that, but... Anyway, they still haven't found her, and that's, like, so sad. And I've been kind of, like, watching, like, some of the press conferences and, and you know, some of the stuff. And y'all know Bullhorn Betty down there. She done took herself to Texas. She in Texas now, and she's, like, right up in the middle of everything. Like, like she was, like, there, like, fast. Like, I don't even know, but, like, she got there quick. And she been down there, and she she's just, like, in the middle of everything. And I was, like, listening to the uh, press conference today, and I could have swore that was her voice. Like, you couldn't see because they had the picture, like, the camera on the man that would be talking about it, like, the, the policemen and stuff. But she, she was out uh, over there, like, with all the people, the journalists and stuff, and she was asking questions, and I swear, y'all, she was talking over everybody. I know that was her voice. I know it was. You can't miss that voice. Like, like is she not from she not from Texas, right? Like, and does she live like Florida or something like that? Like, is she just like acting like she just like I don't know. That just made me like, man, Betty. Why you gotta always be up in everything, especially like serious situations like that. Like, you know, that that place that where that little girl lived from, like all those people that live, you know, her friends and her family and neighbors and I don't the people she go to school with, people like that, like they all be, you know, all worried and concerned about her and you know, and it looked like things might not turn out too good from what I saw. Looked like they done arrested the guy they that they think is like gonna be the suspect or something they looked like they done got him arrested for something and i mean it's a sad situation and then there be old bullhorn boy she up in there i hope to god she didn't take her bullhorn now i hadn't seen that did anybody see her with the bullhorn did she got that with her lord help those people I just pray for that little girl, and I just pray everything turns out all right. And, you know, sometimes I just, you know, there's certain things, like if you want to cover cases and talk about cases, that's that's great. But, man, they go into the place where, you know, it's happening, like right in the middle of it, and then be like just putting yourself right, like you somebody or something, and, you know, being a, I don't know, she like, Play like she was a correspondent from Fox News or something being sent down to that place in Texas. My goodness gracious. You know, sometimes, I, I don't know. One thing I can say now, and y'all correct me, y'all let me know because I hadn't seen this. I hadn't watched a whole lot of her, but, like, you know, when she was, like, in, in um, Tennessee for Summer Wells and then, like, when she was down in Georgia with that little boy Quentin, like, how she was, like, being so rude and, like, like, hateful to law enforcement and the families and stuff like that. Like, you know, and I'm not saying, I mean, you know, I don't know. But is she doing that in Texas? Do y'all know? Because I haven't, like, the one thing I did see a video, like, well, she was live or something. She was down by the water wherever they were. They had boats in the water and the guys was coming up with the boats. And, like, she did tell them, like, thank y'all for your service or something. And so I thought that was good. At least she was being respectful. But y'all know what she did. I'm not even lying. Y'all y'all go look at her lives if y'all didn't see this. And y'all, like, the guys had to, like, kind of bend over a little bit because they, you know, they got out and they was bent over. And she was like, ooh-wee, should we we'd be, like, whistling, like, ooh, chicka bow wow Like, are you kidding me, lady? You gonna be like making some be like all flirty, like, 
that, that, isn't that like sexual harassment or something? Those men out there searching for that little girl, and y'all, you gonna be acting like that? Something wrong, mm, that's messed up. But anyway, but I haven't seen her like be like, like she was with the law enforcement in Georgia and stuff, so, and like even in Tennessee, like, so I hope she's not doing that down there when she's in Texas while they looking for that little girl, because, I mean, from what I saw, they got people in the water, and like that one day the wind was so bad and it was cold, they said it was like really cold outside, and those people be working really hard trying to look for that little girl, so I hope she's not like, you know, causing problems like that, but I mean, she, she was, she down there all up in it, I mean, I guess that's just her full-time job, just going from place to place to place, I don't know, but man, that's so sad about that little girl, y'all just, y'all, Make sure y'all be praying that they find, they get some answers and find that little girl because that's so sad. But yeah, it seemed like, you know, these YouTube streets, they branching out everywhere. Now they going into places, you know, that uh, sometimes I don't think they should be. But that's just Miss Tia. I don't know. I just kind of feel some kind of way about that. But anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much all I've been focused on the last couple days other than I did see Cam and Allie you know, coming back on the YouTube streets, and they said that they working on things in their life, and I hope that's true, because that's a sad situation they got going on with them, too. But anyway, darlings, I just want to pop in and, and say hi to everybody, and and just ask y'all to make sure y'all be praying that for that little girl, and there's a couple other ones that is missing, too. Um, there was a couple that went missing. Um, I'm not sure the names on those, but I know that it seemed like there was a couple of Amber Alerts going out, and I don't know. It seems like every day, every day there's always something. It's a sad, sad world we live in when our children be missing like that. But anyway, darlings, all right. Well, Miss Tia going to get on off of here right now. Y'all have a good evening. And you know, Miss Tia, I'll be seeing you soon. Bye now.